Thanks a lot, Ryan. We'll see you tomorrow. Now, the Philippines is a long way off from replicating the kind of success that has come out of Silicon Valley in the U.S. That's according to Josdado Banatao, chairperson of the Philippine Development Foundation. Banatao, who is behind some innovations that revolution a lot, make that revolutionize mobile phones and computers, says there is a need to foster an innovative environment to support Filipino engineers and scientists, adding this begins with the country's education system. Now, he also says the Philippines needs to work with the best and brightest to jumpstart the country's technological capabilities. Benatao points out many semiconductor companies left the Philippines unable to find local talent who could contribute to their business. At the university level, we need to come up with a solution where we can compete in the quality of engineering education or science and science education. Unfortunately, the level of expertise uh, drops when professors and students do not do much or some kind of a research. Mm -hmm. Because only in research institutes where scientists and engineers band together to develop technologies, and it is about the technology that creates the highest value add products. And the global market is always in need of these kinds of products. Banatao adds Filipinos need to adopt a culture of risk taking, which is common among many startup and global technology companies operating in Silicon Valley. We like to hire people who failed before. It is far uh, longer to forget the mistake than remember the good things, in fact. Mm -hmm. And so the experience um, is important for us. Uh, because entrepreneurship is a very practical thing. Mm -hmm. There are no theories. Things come in randomly, and you have to figure out out of these random events some sort of a decision to proceed further. Those are all experiential. So we need that risk-taking attitude.